So welcome, welcome everyone. This is the Asian Supervision Network and we meet once a month, the last uh, Wednesday of the month in Asia and the last Tuesday night in the Americas. And we have as a goal to bring supervisors and people interested in supervision together so we can learn from each other. So I will be needing your help for next year. I hope that everyone who is here today can commit to the presentation next year so we can come up with an agenda. So I have been asking you already now one more time, I wanna, uh, because this, we do this together with the collaboration of everyone. So I want you to think what topic you would like to present and let me know so we can have an agenda for the whole year. We don't have to worry every month after month trying to find somebody uh, every, every every month. So my, my goal for next year is to have an agenda for, for the whole year for this network. Gerardo uh, also called with me the the Spanish speaking super, supervisor network. So Gerardo, we should do the same for our network too, so to have an agenda for the whole year with all of the names, everything in one place, everybody know what's happening. Uh, so in that way, I think it's less work and less stress for the organizers for each session. So Jaya, thank you very much for joining uh, this, doing the presentation. Uh, Jaya had presented at the Asian Network in the past at least once, if not twice. I don't know if this is your third time, second or third time second. presenting? Second time. Second time. Second time. So we have been meeting for four years now. And there are many recordings from these sessions in our Asian Supervisor Network website. So you can go to the website and you can find there the links to all of the past recordings. And there are very interesting sessions. As Jaya is from India. She's an MCC. Also, you finished one of our first, do you remember what cohort were you? Uh, seven, cohort seven. Cohort seven, cohort seven. So, uh, and we are now in cohort 22. Can you imagine wow. how time, so, <laughs> how, uh, time wow. flies? And uh, Jaya developed this instrument to work with coaches and supervisors, and she presented this in Mexico. So my colleagues were telling me about her presentation, and I said, Jaya, you need to come here to the to uh, the Asian Supervisors Network and present what you presented in Mexico. Uh, so she went all the way from India to uh, Cancun. Okay, she had a good reason to go to Cancun. <laughs> it's a beautiful place in, in, in Mexico. Hi, hey, General B, welcome. Welcome to our call. Good that you made it. We're just starting, okay? We're just starting. I am just introducing Jaya and share with everyone that Jaya presented something similar to what she's going to do for us today in Mexico. And I learned about that from colleagues of mine. And uh, I don't know, Jaya, what else do you want people to know about you? Anything else that uh, other than you're a master coach, you're a supervisor, you're a mentor coach, you train coaches, mentor coaches, anything else that you want people to know? That's good, Damien. I think I just want everybody to know I'm passionate about creative coaching. So keep thinking about creative ways of generating transformation. That's what I'm interested in. And Meraki is, is part of that uh, passion. And I would also like to acknowledge my colleague, Pragati. We have co-founded uh, Meraki. So uh, Pragati has done her coach training with me. And then I think uh, Universe brought us together and said, we want to create something. And we created this tool, which you were going to experience today. So I just wanted to acknowledge that. Great, great. Welcome, Pragati. Good having you here. Welcome to our meeting. So we are in your hands. Jaya, you awesome. manage the way you want. We have uh, 45 minutes. Great. So um, I'll make it quick because we want to do a lot of work in this 45 minutes um, and I need all of your help. So today we're going to do a supervision demo leveraging Miraki cards. Miraki cards are actually creative cards, which all of you would have seen tarot cards and picture cards and all those kind of tools. Uh, we've taken a step ahead and... Um, uh, created cards which gives you five clues at the same card so idea is uh, can your subconscious choose the card rather than you consciously choosing the card and then providing your direction through that now what we the way we will work it is um, let me show you how a card looks like since we are virtual we have virtual cards this is how the card the deck looks like so there are 54 cards like this you see the number on that one two three four five you see that now, what happens is when you, and I'm right now just sharing how it works and I'll ask you when to click. So when you click on the card, you will see a number here. You see a number here? 
So it means I have clicked on one card so far. At one time, you're, you can, um, you can um, click on four cards maximum because we also want to have a focused conversation. So in this conversation, we will do one card only and I'll channelize how, how do we do that. So when I click on this one, I see my card. Pretty simple. Right. If I want to change my card, I delete this card. I go back here and I just can, let's say I say randomly, my favorite number is 14. <laughs> Let me click this. I go here and I see the card. The card is flipped here. Pretty simple, right? This is very, uh, uh, this thing. Now, the way we will work today is I need one volunteer who would like to get supervised, who has a case. And then we all will support uh the person who's getting supervised through the tool and i'll explain how that goes uh once i have a volunteer anybody who has a case they would like to talk about so i have a question so awesome. it can be it can be any coaching case yes okay okay then i think i can volunteer awesome so can I call you Alex? Yes. Alex. Okay. Thank you for volunteering, Alex. So the way we will work, and I'm not sure if everybody's trained on supervision, so that's why I'm explaining the process. The way we'll work is Alex will explain the case and all of you are making a note of it. And then um, we will do three rounds of supervision here. Um, when I will ask you to pick a, click on one card, you go back and click on one card. So for that, you have to just come on this link. And the cards are available in Spanish because, uh, Spanish also, because you went to Mexico, we converted the cards into Spanish in case that's your preference. So click on that link, put your name and email ID, and you get access to the cards then. So get ready for that. And Alex, meanwhile, can you think about the title of your case and explain the case a little bit in brief so that we all know where we are yeah just take some time to log in make sure you reach a page which shows you the cards you don't have to click the cards right now just come at this reach this place and then we get started let me know once you're ready Devin, you're on mute so yeah can you repeat how we once we, we i am in the website how do i get to the cards where do we need to go Click on try now. Give me a signal once you're here. Okay. I don't see that option right now in my... Um, did it's you at the bottom right. It's at the bottom, yeah. Thank you, yeah. Oh, I need to sign in first. Register yes. first, okay. All right. Correct, correct. It's at the bottom of the uh, page. Okay. You will see Spanish cards and try now. So whichever you like. Okay. Do I have to pay? No, you okay. don't have to pay. Okay. This is a free demo link. But they ask you the currency and the number. Really? Uh, yes. If you think, listen, uh, I, I, I didn't find it at the beginning either, but then no, I did. Perhaps, so you, perhaps you are using logging in. Look, 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 look in. how it looks like. Right now. Sure. You need to go to the bottom of the of the of that site, and then you get this, and then you need to do this, fill out, and then you can enter. Can you see, Alex? What? Uh, I'll try yeah. now. OK. OK, got it. Yeah. No, no paper to card. You should be able to just create a login and then access the cards. Okay, Dark. I'm at the page with all the cards. Awesome. Everybody's there? Okay, great, great, great. Thank you. So now what we will do is, uh, so first of all, we'd like to ask Alex. Alex, what is that you need from this group? to support a lot of support a lot of support okay are we all in are we all ready to give support to alex awesome awesome great great 
Okay, so this is, while this is getting recorded, this is a safe space, Alex. Uh, Damien, uh, would this recording be openly available? Or just for the safety piece, I want to know how this recording will be placed. It's up to Alex. After you finish, you need to decide if you want to share this or not. So if Alex feels comfortable sharing it, we will share. Uh, usually we put the link in YouTube and in our website. But if you don't feel comfortable, we don't share it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's very helpful. So Alex, feel free. This is a safe space and uh, you can always decide what you want to do with recording, right? What is important is that we create a space where we are with you completely. Yeah. So now, uh, Alex, uh, tell us about the case. What is that you would like to explore and reflect upon and give us a title of like a title of a movie. Just tell us the you know, title of the movie and then share a little bit about the case. Okay, the title of the case is that cannot help to be a victim. Mm -hmm. okay. Help to feel like a victim. Okay, would you like to share more? Okay, so the client is GM of a luxury property in a remote area in the southern southern hemisphere and the company the client company is that i've been i've been working with this company since 2014 working with many senior leaders and all has been very successful in terms of turning around and getting the coaching wizard and i mostly work with the people at the headquarters but this time they asked me to work with this GM at the remote area, which I have no idea, and which doesn't really matter. But the point is that I, I'm struggling in terms of uh, turning around his mindset from the victim mindset to the player's mindset. So he always needs a kind of opponent or an enemy to to make himself a victim of the situation. So I, so I, had, uh, I had two sessions with him. So I was trying to change the narrative he has about the situation, but he's quite adamant about his position. Mm. Mm. All right. So by the end of this conversation, what would you like to take away, Alex? Uh, I have a sense that I may be a little bit too involved in the situation emotionally. So I want to create the space so I can come up with a better strategy to support his success. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting that you say that. Great. So leveraging the tool, what I request all of you is think about Alex and the case and randomly click on one card on that side without putting logic to it. Just think about Alex and the case and click one card. Alex, you can do the same thing. Yeah. Now, every card that you have picked, the, the one card that you have picked up, I want to share with you how it looks and how to read this is, yeah. So we will do three rounds of supervision support to Alex. And the way it will go is the first round is only focusing on the text. You see the text is here is energy, mental and emotional, and a question. Only these three clues. There are five clues here, the imagery, the symbol, the text. So just spend some time on the text to see what would you like to ask Alex about the situation. And if the question that has come up on the card resonates with you and you want to read that, that's also fine. Let's see what would you like to ask Alex in order to support her. So I'm going to do that same thing for you, Alex. You have to ask the card on, you picked up the card you are showing. 
No, that I showed you an example. That's you an example. Oh, the card we picked up. So you have talked. You, yeah, so everybody will get a card based Different on card. their subconscious, and that's what we want to look at. How your subconscious is asking a question. So you can ask a question to Alex based on what has come up on the card. Who would like to go first? Can I? Someone here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I press on the card and nothing happened. It doesn't turn. I'm, am I doing anything wrong? Uh, yeah, you have to go on the top right. You'll see a number one. Mm -hmm. You see a number one? When you click, there on top of it, you see number one. Okay, I see That's now. Right. Yeah, awesome. Great. Who is going first? Are you? you are you going first? Or Shrabhan, you were going first? I think I'm there's going, a bit. I'm going first. Okay, great. Alice, for this case, if it get resolved, how would you feel? So Alex, you can receive all the questions, make a note of it, and then respond. Thank you, Shravan. Yeah. Hume, would you like to go next? Yeah, me, who? Yeah. Yeah, I like the question on my card, and I like to use this as a question to Alex. So what could be a courageous step for you to take in the coaching session? Thank you. Yanin? Yes. Alex, if you, if you want us to slow down, tell us. We're just trying to... I think the tempo is good. Okay, cool. Yes. Yanin? Yes. What action would you like to take? Yeah. You can also leverage the, the words that you see on the top and the down. Those are... Meaning. Words. Meaning. Meaning. Uh-huh. Okay. Who would like to go next? Yes. Frederick? What purpose would those actions um, of you serve? Following the question of Jen, of Jen Hidea. Thank you. Who would like to go I, next? Love, I love this question. What are you not willing to challenge in your thinking? Okay, thank you. Would That's like a good question for everybody to pay attention in our work. That's a great yeah. question. Which is yeah. a tradition. As we learn to challenge in your thinking, that's a great question. Yeah, as we learn from you, right, Damien, the supervision is a place where everybody is getting supervised through one person. So that's really what we all need to embrace here. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go next, Narmesh. Yes, yeah. So, Alex, uh, between you and your, <clears throat> excuse me, between you and your coachee, who could be called crazy in this situation and why? Mm, that's an interesting question. Okay, thank you. Who'd like to go next? I maybe uh, understand uh, which would be the priority of the case and what if you don't act for some time? Interesting. Thank you. Who'd like to go next? Pragati, you have a question? <clears throat> yeah. What makes it important for you to address it right now? Mm. Mm. Damien, you have a question? Oh, you have shared the question. So, Alex, you have how many questions now? Almost eight questions with you? Yeah. What's coming up for you through these questions? And what does your own card say? Okay. So, do I need to pick only one or can I pick a little bit, a few? You can. You can uh, pick up max four. Just, yeah, you can do that. Feel free. Oh, okay. So my card is meaning and measurement. And the question is, imagine it all worked out or what would you have achieved? But the interesting thing is that there is a picture with the post-it on the table saying, I am the success story. And this makes me feel, oops, because I've been working with probably, you know, that, uh, about, about 10 senior leaders, they all were successful, you know, the coaching case. And I had a little bit of feeling that, you know, this may be the, my first failure case with the history of this client. So I think that has been my fear. So that, so the, it really makes me quote, some of the you know the mindset that I'm not not I don't want to be in so that was it 
And the other thing is that, uh, so I think that's related with Damian's question. So what do I want to challenge myself in terms of my thinking? Am I caring for my success or his success? So that's the challenge. And also I think, you know, that uh, I, you know, I'm not sure whether the, this, this, this question is from Damesh or, you know, to somebody else that who is more crazy, you know, am I more crazy or is he more crazy? And I think we both are crazy. <laughs> And, and I like the question that, you know, what could be a courageous step? And this makes me question, have I changed, the, have I changed him enough? But I, I thought I was pretty direct that, hey, you know, that you have this storyline that you, you always need to be a victim to make an excuse of the situation which is, you know, that uh, not a good business result. So up to, yeah, just I'll stop here. Okay, so in one line, what's your conclusion with this reflection about yourself? Hmm. <laughs> it's not about me, it's all about him. Hmm. And does that support you move forward a little bit? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, great. Now, the second round of this supervision is about the image. So either you can continue with the same card or you can go ahead and pick another card and offer the image that has come up for you. So... Uh, I can allow all of you to share your screens and you can share your by one by one share the images that have popped up for you and Alex you can either take a photo of that so that you know what are the images showing up what is the metaphor showing up in, and you can explain which may give some clue to Alex so take some time for that Can I go? Yes, please share your screen. Okay. So that's mm -hmm. the image, Alex. We're just focusing on metaphor right now. Can take a, a screenshot maybe. Okay, thank you, Yanin. Let's go next. would like to go next okay let me share it and we can't hear you very much Alex, if you want, meanwhile, you can keep putting those pictures. Sorry, I need to figure it out. Uh, no problem. No can problem. somebody else go in? Next? Yeah. Alex, if you want, you can start putting those screenshots on a uh, slide so that it becomes easy for you to say, see them together. I know it's a little bit logistical when you're doing it virtual, but we have physical cards we play with, so it's much easier. Ah, here. Marshmallow with a lot of emotions. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's the imagery. Just, just you know, that uh, wait a second so I can take a yes. uh, screenshot. Yeah, you let sure. us know when to move forward, Alex. Yeah, and can I go back to the first slide because I missed the chance to take a you know screenshot. Yes. yes, surely. Is this taken? This one is done. This one is taken. Okay, great. Let's go back. Yanin, can you share it again? So I have. So, okay, so one more time, <clears throat> I have a card here. How do I do that? How do I show it there? Um, you, uh, <laughs> you have the card, the card is flipped for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you can just share the screen after this. 
Okay, Jennifer, so I give the screenshot of yours. Is it okay? Yes. yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Who's, who's going next? Yes, Jung. Go ahead. So, yeah, I used the reality picture. Uh, you want us to see which, this one, 26? Reality, 26, right? 26, okay. Alex, okay. 26. 26, Alex? Yes. Okay. Is it done? Yes. Stop sharing. Yes. So we can also say the name, the number. That is easier than having to show the whole thing, or uh, because um, then yeah. she have to go back to numbers. That's complicated. So okay. Yeah. Time timer. Alex, what has time to do with this? Do they share mine too? So this I like this mine is number twenty. That talk about what your advice to your younger self. Uh, what would you advise to your younger self? Uh, that, with the younger that, self. Yeah, that metaphor. Okay, great. Yeah. Alex, do you have it now? Yes. Okay, who would like to go next? Frederick, yeah. Oh, Pragati is sharing, okay. All right, one person is sad, one person is happy. And talking about partnership. Oh. I miss the, you know, the two two people, one happy, one not happy, one. Okay, we'll come back. So just stay, see this one. Um, three or two, which one? Three, three. He's pointing towards three. Watering, watering the plant. Okay, taken. Taken, okay, great. Pragati, can you bring it back? Talks about narratives. If your friend had a similar okay. story, what would you advise? Mm. Great. Let's go next. <clears throat> next. I next. picked up nine. It is already shown, so I'm not repeating again. Uh, okay, great. Uh, but just show so that she knows which picture is repeated. Nine. Okay, nine. Slide number nine. Pragati, can you stop sharing, please? Yeah, thank you. Just show it once more so nice. that, yeah. And the great thing about these uh, uh, cards is that they show you pattern. If something is repeated, that is a sign. All right, everybody's shown it. Great, Alex. What's coming up for you through these metaphors? Wow, it's a little overwhelming. Okay, say more. It's a little overwhelming. But I think, you know, that uh, the, metaphor, the metaphor that sticks to me is the meaning and purpose, the, you know, that uh, worrying one. What purpose are the current actions of your serving? Hmm. I think this goes back to the, you know, the, you know, am I, more, you know, am I am I more concerning about my success or his success? And this is a reminder. And also, oh, what change in your opinion can make you feel better? So it's a reality facts, opinions, and the, you know, the image is that somebody is taking out the screen of the gloomy sea, gloomy sea and sky to the, you know, there's something bright one. And in a way, you know, in my story, so regardless of his story, in my story, in a way, he has to remain as difficult client. Which means what? I go back to Damien's question. What are you afraid to challenge in yourself? Mm. Well, in my story, he is difficult client, right? Uh -huh. He is difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and what maybe, about... 
sorry go ahead yeah no no please go ahead no so i was saying what about if you start looking him as a seed and the plant that you're watering what changes it's interesting because i in the last session i has i asked i left him with the question that what if all these challenges are gift for you so my question is what if this client is a gift to you how does things change <laughs> Wow, you are tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you know that it's time to be humble. And maybe you know that all my previous clients were too easy for me, too easy to create the success. For me to intoxicate it with this, you know, a series of success stories, especially with this client, this client organization. And in Korean, you know, that we have this phrase called, I think, you know, the similar to in many countries, many cultures, beginner's mind. So I think I need to go back to the core, the essence of coaching that, that you know, that um, I really wish his success. Mm. And yeah, I really wish his success. And he has all the right to be stubborn at this point so he can be as stubborn as he can and maybe that's the time he may want to change his story interesting and would you like to see my card this yes. is the card. this is the card which came for me let me take a picture of it <laughs> interesting yeah. right yeah no i mean you may go back to, you know, and i think you know that in, in, so his success is my success and we success to it's our success together interesting great thank you let's go to the third round very quickly the last one now you can either change the card or use the same card and focus on the symbol. Just listen to me for the symbol before you go there. I'll help you interpret the symbol first. And there are three symbols on the card. So the first one is mind. You'll see a head, which talks about, so this is more about what to do now. You leverage your experience, skill, knowledge, tools, and information. Uh, if it is a hard, it says leverage your purpose, value, vision, ben, uh, belief, and desire. We, we call this personal powers. So the card is indicating which personal power you can use in this situation. So again, people will show their card and the, and the hand means the practicality, goals, plans, action, habit, choice, and option. Okay. Now what you all of us will do is we'll do the same thing. We'll click our cards. We show our cards to Alex and then she can take the screenshot. What is important here is see which symbol repeats itself maximum number of times. It's almost like a game. Yeah. So I'm stopping and we all can start sharing. I'm going to pick my card meanwhile. Uh, you can also make a note, uh, Alex, that head, heart and hands. One, two, three, how many number of times it repeated so that it's so we so we take a different card this time it's your choice if you want to show the same card your choice if you want to pick another card that's also because we are treating all these uh clues in uh, you know in in its own essence I can show okay go ahead yeah i want to use the icon on number eight card 
heart number eight the heart okay so heart one um, let's go ahead we can also put it on the chat that it'll make it uh, faster what symbol came up for you just say head heart uh, head heart or hand heart okay heart heart my god alex what's going on okay heart for me them head hand hand Interesting. So you see what's repeating itself. Heart and a little bit of hand and mine is head, but and it's eight yeah. jayas. It makes two head, three hands, five heart. Uh -huh. So what are you interpreting with that? Mm. And you want me to bring the interpretation again? No, no, no. I think, you know, that, um, you know, I think it, this is interesting that, you know, I'm usually very neutral or like, you know, that I, I tend to like my clients. But I think, you know, that I start to really dislike this client <laughs> because he's being difficult, right? <laughs> Yeah, so I think, you know, that I need to remind myself about the purpose one more time. And also, you know, that uh, also, you know, that I need to give him, you know, maybe a little bit of more specific actions that he can he can ex he he can experiment because I think you know that in a way you know that what the other thing that that need to be challenged in my approach is that I got really too much wrapped up in the story of the victim story and the, you know story of player so I was trying to change his story. So I think it became a little bit conceptual for him, especially somebody who is really practical. So I think, you know, that I get to, I, I need to be a little bit more practical in terms of, you know, giving him a more tangible things out of the session. It had his least needed probably in this situation. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Would uh, now that we are wrapping up this conversation and Alex has reflected on all the three rounds, I invite all of you to share your own reflection. What's coming up for you, either about Alex case or about, or if it has reminded you about anything else about your own clients or about your own practice? Let's share that. Like Stubborn to... here because what appears to me because most of the supervision cases come made, come back to mind. What Alex is talking going to the basics, the beginner's mind, what are the words he has used. Most of the coaches we are going more complex things and leave our coaching mindsets. So that is always a time is reminded me that be at the base, basic thing first. And work on it rather than jump to something interpreting much more than what is happening there. Thank you. Thank you. Who'd like to go next? Yenin? Yeah. Well, what if this client is a gift for you to reflect on who you are becoming at this very step of your career? Do you want my response? If you have it. <laughs> oh, I think you know the, it's, it's a rhetorical question. I mean, it's obvious that, you know, yeah. So I'm not going to respond because you know that uh, probably you guessed it from all my responses. Of Definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yung? Yeah. I start with the question, 
that uh, a, a courage step to take. And then uh, with the icon of the heart, so my self-reflection is actually to me a courageous step is respecting the client's readiness. Thank you. Would like to go next? Yeah, I can go. Yes, please. Yeah. So it just kind of reminded me of uh, the whole thing that, and I've experienced it and I completely uh, relate with Alex's case that when our coachee shows up in a victim mode, you know, we end to, tend to kind of show up in our savior mode and we get involved in the whole thing. <clears throat> and we try to save our coachee from being a victim. And uh, yeah, it just reminded me of our vulnerability on that front. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to go next. For me, what came up in, the, in this case is, is two things that is the first one, in that method, there is probably less chance that as a supervisor, we might influence the client. So it's more, we might be more neutral in there. So that all the work comes, the reflection comes from the client uh, for sure. And the other thing is I'm curious about how I could use those gaps for myself as a supervisor to reflect on my own practice. These two things. Thank you. Anyone else? Yes, yeah, can I go ahead? Yeah, okay. Alex wants to go ahead and then. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, please. Yes, Alex. Yeah, no, I I think you know, the Pragati goal can go first. Pragati, okay. Go ahead. Sure. So uh, I think a very powerful session because what I'm taking back with myself is a lesson in coaching and lesson in life. We talk about diversity, equity, inclusion all the time. But I think when we encounter somebody who's different than us, we judge that person as difficult. I do that all the time, I think. And that's why I'm saying a lesson in life that how do we kind of take everybody who's there as our supporter and mo keep moving ahead in our journey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Alex. Yeah. I think this is, a, this is a great way to create the conversation in group group supervision. Yeah. That, you know, without putting too much pressure on the supervisor's end to create the, you know, powerful questions, but we can play with card, but then, you know, that really interpretation is on both ends, yeah. which can amplify the, the, the meanings coming out of the you know exchange so i appreciate it thank you thank you thank you Jaya, for the session thank you alex i think damien was saying something no something like more like it's a very recurring theme in supervision that is as coaches sometimes we are judgmental of our clients and we feel guilty about that and I think that was a little bit of that in what I was listening, Alex. Like I shouldn't be feeling that way with my clients. And we all do. It's like we all are judgmental and we may feel guilty that we are having thought that we shouldn't be having these thoughts. You know, we should be like a little bit what Pragan was saying, we should be embracing everybody and accepting everybody and loving everybody. And, and we do and we don't. Yeah. And when we don't, we feel very guilty about it because there is a voice telling us we shouldn't we shouldn't feel that way. That's not right. Um, so I want to invite you and everyone is to be aware of that, that we all do have that voices. And that sometimes it's okay. Not every client will be a good match for us. So sometimes Alex with experience and the career, we get more. In, I think I would say I would talk for myself when we get older, <laughs> we get more impatient too sometimes. So uh, being impatient, I think, is also something for us to pay attention to. When we get impatient with our client, our supervisees, and, and also pay attention to what we notice and how we judge ourselves. 
and being present to to whatever it whatever it is, so noticing. Yeah. Noticing that we're being judgmental, noticing we're feeling guilty, noticing whatever it is, and reflect on that. Absolutely. Thank you. And if can I share what came up for me, Alex, when I was going through this conversation, was I was reminded of a recent client who really challenged me, not only him, but his whole organization and the stakeholders. And I was like, what's this going on? And then um, it has shaken me from my comfort zone to say, hey, listen, not every client will be same. So if you want to claim that you have dealt with difficult clients, this is the case. So I kind of rephrased my thinking and uh, really, it, it really challenged me at different levels. And uh, yeah, that I was reminded of that client and it has supported me to think more strategize more, uh, bring more value to them, bring more evidence to them. So I was kind of preparing more for those uh, conversations because it was not only coaching there, but the stakeholders wanted the proof. So all that happened. And in the end, the client was very satisfied with. So I tried all my tools and everything that it just kind of made me stand on the foot and say, do everything possible to support this client. So that is what I was reminded about. I just wanted to share that in case that's helpful. Yeah, the, the, client, the client that challenged us are our best teachers. Yeah. So re remember that the client in coaching or the supervisees yeah. or anybody who challenges us. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. can just yeah. generalize in life. Just and in that life. is true in yeah. supervision and it's also true in life. Yes. Yes. I was going to choose uh, the same, more or less, the challenge card. Uh, that what are we not willing to challenge in our thinking when uh, we confront a client or, or we are working and we are always uh, uh, confronting when uh, what I want or why I don't want to challenge on my thinking. And and she said something like, "Well, no, I have to listen to him. It's his problem, not mine. And we have to work in, in that way. Something like that I was reflecting. Interesting. Great. So I'm... Yeah, David. Yeah. I want to say congratulations, I think, for bringing this tool. We have a couple of minutes to wrap up. And I want to thank you in the name of everybody here for sharing, being generous. And if anybody wants to learn more about it, you gave us the web the website so people can learn more from there. Yeah. Anywhere else that they can reach you, do you want to write your email so people yeah. can reach you if they have any questions or want to? Yeah, I think LinkedIn is the best way to reach out. Um, the website link is there with you, so the, our contact details are available there. Also, happy to send you some demo videos we have recorded with different scenarios. To play with so we have started playing these cards in coaching team coaching supervision everywhere and we are seeing that it is working so i think somewhere a lot of subconscious get channelized through this kind of a tool and not everything is verbalized and articulated so that's the power of this tool so um, i want to close this conversation by saying thank you alex for showing up and being vulnerable in front of everybody um, and thank you, everybody, for sharing your reflection. And thank you, Damien, for the opportunity. Thank you. Alex, thank you. Uh, Alex, you, you were going to say, so Alex, you wanted to say anything before? You will raise your hand. Question. Is it usually the three rounds, the first question, the second image, the third symbol, or is so, it more? So interestingly, there are no rules here. I've created this right now in front of you. I created these rules myself. So you can go ahead and create the, this is a tool which will channelize your process. And as I said, you know, creativity is the essence of this tool. So the, create the, the, the rounds and the process your way. Uh, we have also used these cards in uh, casual parties where we have asked them to pick up a card, look at the imagery and tell a story of their life and something has come up and that's beautiful. So. We believe in emergence and subconscious and saying, let the card choose you. So randomization is what we are appreciating in this work. Spontaneity, randomization. Thank, Thank you so much. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Over to you, Damien. 
So Alex, is it okay to share this recording or would you rather not? Is it okay you give us permission? Okay, great. So uh, we will share that in our website. Um, I want to thank you, Jaya, and also Pragari for coming tonight to join us here. Well, for you, it's morning. Tonight is for me. For you, it's, you're starting your day in India. So uh, thanks, everyone. And you know, for Jen Elvir from Europe, she, she woke up really early to be here. And Gerardo from Uruguay said, very late to be here. So it's amazing. I love this. You so know, uh, Jaya yeah. has been kind of my mentor in another program. So I just wanted to be here too. <laughs> well, you're going to be here many times so it's supporting the space. Next month, we're changing the time in the United States, but we're not going to change the time in Asia. So for people who are changing times, like in Europe, and that, we will meet one hour earlier. So I don't know how does it work for you, if it's better or worse, probably worse, I think, <laughs> worse in Europe. Um, but uh, Frederick, I don't know for you do, you, do you change the time in Australia too? You are, yeah. You're on mute. In Uruguay, you don't change times, correct? Um, in India? We change time, but it's perfect time for me now because it's, okay. it's just, so just uh, three o'clock, yeah. Keep track of the time and so you can join us next month. It's going to be on group supervision. So the idea is that we're going to have a group, like today, what kind of group supervision, um, but with a different approach. And it depends how many people we are, we're going to split in different groups. If we are five to six people, we'll be one group. If we have more than eight groups of four, we will split in two groups. So um, this is going to be fun group supervision experience. Great seeing everybody. Thank you for joining us. And Thank you. We'll see you. Pleasure. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.